So I trace marks on the ground and I um, bring those tracings back to the studio and clean them up with, you know, because they're usually dirty and then um, take, uh, take those and put them in constellations in the studio, which are many layers of those tracings. And then I um, uh, lay the mylar on top of that and make a drawing that has all of the layers of the, of the uh, tracings in one drawing, which would be like the drawing behind me. And then I make paintings from that material. I make tr paintings from the, the colored pencil drawings or from the tracings from the street themselves. This show was made um, from marks that I traced uh, in Buffalo, New York, which I traced during a residency at the Albright Knox Art Gallery. I, w I was attracted to Buffalo because it's, um, I was intrigued by its, um, its decrepitude. <laughs> Sorry, Buffalo. <laughs> but you know, I was intrigued by its, uh, abandoned buildings and the grain elevators and the it's, it's it's actually a very vital the people there are very vital but the the industry is it's a pretty depressed uh, area I did a site visit before I went to Buffalo to trace for those three weeks and I knew that I wanted to trace at Middle Steel with Middle Steel the uh, the cranes go on tracks overhead in these football field long, long buildings and uh, pick up the, the steel in, that are, that's in rolls. And then the numbers are on either end. And I was interested in it being like a very old uh, computer system or something. Like that's how they know where, where these things are. And the numbers had been painted over and painted over and painted over. And the numbers had a really uh, human character to me. So that the numbers had a resonance about mortality and manyness or, and, and their handmadeness also made me think about people and people being replaced by computers. And so these numbers somehow seem, seem to be a, a junction between um, people and industry and um, time and other times, you know, so uh, they were very powerful uh, numbers. There were other marks that I traced in, in uh, Buffalo that I found once I got there. So like the, there was a waiting pool, um, an inner city waiting pool that was abandoned and uh, there were lots of cracks. Uh, this crack I called the supernova it just looked like a big explosion or, or there were all these, these in the same waiting pool there was some curly cues that were <clears throat> I couldn't tell what had made them some kind of machine clearly made it looked, th these curly cues in reverse that I had never seen marks like that so we, we traced those and um, the, I had always wanted to trace the, the cracks that are painted over it on freeways and the Albright Knox parking lot we I you know they could close it off so um, so those were very giant and very elegant it's kind of like a painting already made those ones you know I think a lot about people and what we're doing here and what how we think we're gonna last forever and we really are not going to last forever. And how society moves into the future without really entirely thinking that we're planning for it, but really using it up, you know, using up our resources and using up uh, stuff. And, and then those are my personal thoughts. But actually, when I, when I trace these things, I think that what I come up with is very hopeful, which isn't, what isn't in fact my intent. It's not a conscious thing, but you know, it's making, it's making, it's, there's beauty. I, I find the things I trace very beautiful. I guess that's why I trace, <clears throat> uh, I would say that's what links all the things. You know, it's, it's not really that I'm tracing 
disgusting or decrepit you know, marks. It's that, that they're beautiful snowflakes that aren't really being seen exactly because they're uh, just the things that you pass 